2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We are on the biggest stage in professional basketball, the NBA Finals. We're set for Game 2 on 2K Sports. Tonight could give us a picture of where this series is headed. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. So the opening lineup for the Mavericks. Luka and Kyrie in the talented backcourt. Washington out there with Derrick Jones. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. And for the Celtics, White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. to start out. Irving looking around. Good work defensively by White. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Holiday passes to Tatum. 11 feet out. Doncic grabs the miss. Washington against Tatum. Doncic outside. Back to Washington. Pass to Jones. Doncic on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Wow, you see the physical defense against Luka didn't even matter. He powers right through it. Side Holiday. Now Tatum launches it from deep. Here's Porzingis. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Gafford. Irving goes in, uses the glass to finish the layup. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. inside working on Jones Brown no good well conversions have been a problem oh for four Gafford passes to Irving Washington outside deflects the pass here's holiday count it one for one to start the game there it is after four straight misses finally nail one the Mavericks have gone two of three from the floor Outside Irving. He shoots it. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Yeah, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. Level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. The line. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. The Mavericks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Washington passes to Doncic. Outside Jones. Pass to Washington. Let's it go. Rebounded by the Celtics. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Out of bounds. It'll be Mavericks ball. And let's take a look at the players leading the way in assist here in the postseason. Third is Luka Doncic. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. Pass to Gafford. Washington with the ball. Outside Irving. Clock at six. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And Doncic launches from deep. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Tatum. Nice D from Gafford. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that one. Guys, you have to love the way Irving uses his body. 
contact inside and earn the trip to the strike. And he drops it first. Both free throws good from Irving. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Outside Holiday. Irving against White. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist by White. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Austin Trailer. Now here's White. Outside Holiday to the inside. Porzingis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Daniel Gafford picks one up. For Chris Stapps, Porzingis, we know this guy has all-star level talent. For him, it's about staying healthy. At seven foot three, if he's able to stay away from injuries, this guy is a big-time threat. And the Mavericks going with a whole new group out there. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Here's Exum. Hauser grabs the board. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Exum. On the take. Missed inside. The Celtics have gone only two of six from the field. Here's Hauser. Pass to Porzingis. Shoots over Hardy. Can't hit the short range fadeaway. The Mavericks leading. Here's Exum. Two minutes. Tipped away. Here's Hardy. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Celtics shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Here's Pritchard, defended by Hardaway. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Good, on the bucket. How about the playmaking ability of Al Horford? Wonderful at positioning himself and capitalizing. Here's Hardy. He's scoreless. Pass to Exum. To win the drought. Horford with the block. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. Tillman's checked in for Boston. And Dallas with a change here, too. Green's checked in for Exum. Here's Green. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And here's Horford. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. White. Good. That's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. The Mavericks trailing. 51 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Hardy. Dallas, no good that time either. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Here's Pritchard, green covering. Pritchard, the pass to Hauser. Shot clock at six. He drops it from range. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And here's Kleba. Still no points. Pass to Hardaway. To stop the run. The shot misses. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. And so it's the Boston Celtics leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They've had incredible success.
let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Drew Holiday out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Tillman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Now here's Brown. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. The shot by Holiday, no good. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Pass to Irving. Washington outside. Outside, Green. Sinks it from distance. Green. Green's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Holiday against Doncic. Holiday passes to Brown. Deflected! Powell is exceptional at timing the blocks, rises up and sends it back. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now here's Green. Two shots, two makes. Green. Off to a good start. Nice use of the step back to create space. The Celtics have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. And here's Brown for three. Washington grabs the miss. The Mavericks shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. And that one's good. Irving. What's amazing Assisted about Kyrie is the number of go-to moves he has on the interior. The Celtics with the lead. Holiday passes to Horford. Quarter two in about two minutes in. Pass to Tillman. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Porzingis has checked in for Horford. Exum's checked in for the Mavericks. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, they found their offensive openings in the mid-range, and they continue to find ways to open up those jump shot opportunities. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And he knocks down the first one. What's amazing about Kyrie Irving is if you ask a broad section of players who their favorite is to watch, many will tell you it's Kyrie. Now Holiday. Outside Porzingis. Outside Brown. 4-3. Doncic pulls down the board. For Dallas, they've gone 3-3 three of three to begin the second. That gives them the lead. Irving's got 13 now. What a masterful performance from Kyrie Irving. He's over a decade into his career. He can I'm still I'm take Boston. over a game. And Boston calls time here. <laughs> With the offense reeling, Coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. The Mavericks making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. And here now, a list of the players who have had the hottest hand in the playoffs. Fifth on the list, Luka Doncic. Perfect time to take it to another level offensively. He's really carried them at that end. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Holiday. The shot comes out. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. Pass to Exum. Washington outside. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Here's Porzingis. He's guarded by Gafford. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Touch is fundamental basketball for Kristaps Porzingis. Establish yourself inside and finish with the jam. Here's Exum, pounded by Tatum. Exum's shot is off. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Let's it go from 11. Look at Tatum using his length. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. 
five consecutive buckets. Here's Exum. Pounded by Tatum. And the dunk by Gafford. Well, how about the outstanding vision from the crafty point guard, Dante Exum, seeing the floor beautifully. Tatum feeling it out a bit. Here's Tillman. He's guarded by Washington. Tillman misses. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Let's it go from 14. Count that bucket. Irving's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. The shot by Holiday, no good. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Here's Doncic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. This guy's such a tough cover. Doncic generates so much offense in so many ways. Some changes for Boston. Hauser, he's checked in for Tillman. White comes in for Jalen Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Now here's White. Outside Tatum. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Kleba. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Pass to Hardaway. Let's it fly. Another shot. Lively with the bucket. Lively's got his first bucket in this one. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Doncic with it. Outside Hardaway. And Porzingis with the block. Seven foot six wingspan sending it back. Chris Stapps for Zingas with the rejection. The Celtics making a switch here. Warford's checked in. Jones, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardy comes in for Doncic. Five on the clock. Again, Hardaway missing. Boston has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. There's Tatum with the three. Tatum drills the three. You have got to be in Tatum's space. This guy is such a terrific range shooter. Hardy, the pass to Lively. Kleba outside. Pass to Hardy. Here's Lively. Kleba outside. Three pointer. Rebounded by the Celtics. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again. Trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Here's Pritchard. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Tatum. Puts it up from 15. Kept alive. Up top white. Here's Hauser from deep. And the Celtics, another three. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. For three, Hardaway. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Celtics out in front, up by three. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, Jason, you hold the lead going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Uh, for, for most of the half, um, we were really good defensively. Uh, we let our foot off the gas a little bit, so uh, we got to do a better job. Keep the pedal to the metal, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And the NBA Finals action continues here on 2K Sports. Looking at Boston, they've played their hearts out tonight, trying to take a 2-0 lead in this championship series. We'll see if they can seal the deal in what should be a highly competitive second half. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? 
We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than getting the start of the play. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Mavericks? Ernie, they're taking way too many threes. The offense has no rhythm. They need to go back to the drum. Maybe try to get a little bit more transition, more of the pick and roll. Anything other than shooting that three. It's not going. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few. in this arena. Welcome back to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. What a sensational start. Boy, he has been locked in all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half, Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Derek Jones is out there with P.J. Washington, and it's Gafford in at the center position. Well, Jason Tatum has worked hard to fill out his frame. It's not going to bother him that you're bringing a level of physicality. Doncic passes to Gafford. Washington. Outside Irving. Let's the three fly. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds in the game. Tatum finds Holiday. To the middle. Here's Porzingis. Operating inside. Porzingis. Porzingis. They're beginning to take control now, and this could be a crucial point in the game. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. Throws it up high, up high, and down it goes on the line. When Kyrie Irving comes off that pick and roll, he has so much attention on him due to his speed that it results in a lot of easy shots for the guys around him. And the bucket is good. Brown's got his second bucket. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Doncic against Holiday. Doncic feeling it out a bit. Oh, Doncic shakes off the pressure. Well, the exceptional handle. Doncic has every move, can go in any direction. Look out, folks. Pass to Holiday. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. First foul, Daniel Gafford. Second personal foul. First and he makes the first. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. The Mavericks making a switch here. Green is checked in. And here is Irving. Shot from the wing. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. On target from range. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Timeout called. The Mavericks trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Boston Zone, Celtics Entertainment. Celtics Entertainment, let them hear it. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Brown against Green. Poke loose. And here's the fast break. Here's Brown. J.B. on the break. Sensational. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Pass to Gafford. Green against Brown. Green, the pass to Doncic. Washington outside. Four on the clock. 
A shot to stop the run. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Celtics have gone an impressive 5 of 5 so far in the third quarter. The kick to Tatum. The three ball. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And Daniel Gafford picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Al Horford comes in for White. Powell, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Exum comes in for Kyrie Irving. Horford against Washington. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. The three is up. Knocks down the long J. Washington. Washington's got himself on the board with a three there. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Now here's Tatum. He's closely guarded. Here's Holiday, and he gets it to go from the high post. Holiday. Holiday's gotten a second bucket on the night. And they're shooting with much more confidence here in the second half. The field goal percentage is now over 50%. Unloads from 13, and that one's good. Green. Green. You know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. Now here's Tatum. Ten points for him. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Washington. One forty-six left in the third quarter. Exum passes to Powell. Washington outside. Down to five on the shot clock. From downtown. Offensive rebound. Mavericks. Here's Powell. And no good. His first shot of the night. Missing. Boston's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Tatum. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Exum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Tatum. Boy, how terrific is Dante Exum getting into the paint, forces the defense to foul him there. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game, working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage of creating second chance points. Impressive. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Jalen Brown. Hardy, the pass to Lively. Inside. Hardaway shot is good. Well, Tim Hardaway Jr. Assist. getting stronger, and that's a problem when he's trying to finish through contact. Holiday passes to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Outside Holiday. That one is off. Good D by Hardaway. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Exum passes to Hardy. To the left side wing. Here's Exum. Unloads. Nice shot from the wing. Nine seconds left in the third. Here's Holiday. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Holiday's got eight here in this quarter. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Celtics out in front. They lead by 12. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports.
And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. Derek White out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Holiday in at the three, the small forward. That's the Boston Five. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Porzingis. That one rolls around and rims out. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Here's Irving. And that basket makes him six for 11, shooting a good percentage. He's got a big speed advantage in that matchup. Could be a blow by every single time. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Jones Jr. A physical guard who plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think. And the first one at the line is good. Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Washington's checked in for Dallas. Luka Doncic comes in for Hardaway. That one's no good. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. On the wing, Irving. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Doncic. Shoots over White. Oh, Luka! Like a bull in there! That 6'7 size of Luka can sneak up on you, folks. Look out! Pass to Porzingis. Holiday up top. He's guarded by Irving. Brown gets the bucket. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Shot from the top of the key. Here's Gafford. That shot is off. Great D that time from Porzingis. Pass to Holiday. Horford with it. It's Brown on the wing. Oh! And a dunk by Brown! This guy, one of the most elite athletes in the game, Jalen Brown, finishes beautifully. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Irving from outside the arc. That one falls. Great set up by Doncic. Three points. Doncic has got three assists tonight. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Holiday passes to Horford. Now here's Brown, defended by Jones. Pass to White. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Washington with the ball. Guarded now by Holiday. And here's Gafford. Washington outside. And he's going for the lob. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. Washington. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Celtics. They've led by as many as 14. Out to Horford. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got seven rebounds in the game. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Horford. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics, Jason Tatum. Here's Jones. Doncic outside. On the wing, Irving. Just five to shoot. Over White. And it's Irving missing. Boston's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Step back and fire. 
The shot by Holiday, no good. The Mavericks have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Doncic passes to Washington. Back to Doncic. Beyond the arc. Doncic counted in full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. For Boston, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Doncic against Holiday to win the cold spell. Here's Porzingis, and he battles for the ball, gets the second chance bucket, and the Celtics lead by eight. Well, you love the physicality by Porzingis, mix it up off the backboard to eight. Doncic finds Irving, fires from deep, and Doncic the bucket on the assist by Irving. Doncic has got ten points in just the second half. The Celtics have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. It's Brown on the wing. Let's it go from 11. And that one hits the back iron. Dallas has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Over Holiday. And it's Doncic missing. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Derek Jones Jr. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. And that one falls for Tatum. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. Irving for three. And counted. Eight of 14 now. He's rolling. We all know that Irving wants to be the man to hit that shot. And when he takes it, he usually finds a way to finish. And it's Tatum missing. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings Luka. to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Luka Doncic is the option, folks. You see the trust they place in him and why. Oh, Tatum with a throwdown. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 16 to 7 run. From deep, here's Doncic. They get it again. Gafford passes to Washington. Irving against White for three. Irving, no good. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. A tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Looking to close things out. That might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And Dallas calls time here. They're down by seven. 41 seconds left in the game. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. Yeah, this is something he will remember forever. These types of performances in the playoffs are what define a player's legacy. And it's good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five! Man, that is a good one. Kyrie really just comes alive when the game gets tight. First personal foul. Third team foul. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both. And it's a seven-point game. Well, you want to continue to build the lead. So a very productive trip to the line right there. Doncic passes to Gafford. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That'll be a second foul of the game. He tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Twenty-three seconds left in the final quarter. Yes! And now they trail by just.
plus four. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And some changes here for the Celtics. Horford comes in for Hauser. And Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzullo's huddle. Coach telling their players, let's play with urgency. This is the game. I know we'll win if we play hard. Let's see how the team responds. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by six. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. It's time for some t-shirts. What now, fans? Irving, the pass to Washington. There's the three. Cash! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And Boston calls time here. They're in front by three. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Possession ball game, down the stretch, always plenty of pressure. Now can Jalen Brown knock down a free throw? That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. So we see the Celtics get the win here. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Thanks, Jason. This team is on a roll. Plenty of energy on the sidelines. How much fun are you having out there? Uh, winning is fun. Uh, you know, hopefully we can keep it up, especially at home. Uh, you know, we don't want to let our fans down. We got the best fans in the league. And they give us all the energy in the world. So, uh, you know, we appreciate them. Doing it for the fans. Thanks, Jason. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everybody.